So, your next assignment requires you to critique other people's arguments. Or you just want to win arguments with random strangers on the internet. And you want to demonstrate your intellectual superiority? Well, the best way to do that is to point out logical fallacies in your arguments. A logical fallacy is a reasoning error that weakens or invalidates an argument. This could be distorting facts, not actually talking about the issue at hand, or stating false, incorrect, or invalid conclusions. It's important to be able to identify them because it allows you to throw your opponent's argument into a dumpster, as well as prevent yourself from having fallacies in your own arguments. So in this video, we're going to cover four main types of logical fallacies and how to counter them. Imagine a debate where the topic is whether minimum wage should be increased. Let's look at some fallacious arguments people might bring up on this topic and how you might point out your reasoning errors and then follow up with your own argument. First up is the red herring fallacy. This is an argument that changes the subject and thereby distracts the audience by putting the focus on something else. It may be true that the minimum wage should be adjusted, but the real solution to address minimum wage workers' woes is to eliminate government regulations so businesses are able to grow and pay their employees higher salaries. The issue currently being debated is whether the current minimum wage should be increased, not government regulations for businesses. I'm arguing that. Often used alongside the red herring fallacy is the straw man fallacy, where there is an intentional misrepresentation of the opponent's position, making it easier for the speaker to attack the opponent's argument. People who do not support the proposed motion to increase minimum wage are not supportive of the poor. I believe you are misrepresenting our stance. Our opposition to the increase of minimum wage is actually... Third, there's a slippery slope fallacy. This is where someone claims that a decision that produces a small change will lead to a series of events that will result in drastic change. If we increase minimum wage by $2,000 now, we'll be increasing it again by $4,000 next year. Listen here, you claim that an increase in minimum wage will result in more significant increases in the future, but this is not the case. For example, the last increase in minimum wage has been five years ago. The history of minimum wage has in fact shown us that. Finally, the post hoc fallacy is where correlation is confused with causation. As unemployment in Hong Kong grew after the government raised the minimum wage in 2015, we can conclude that an increase in minimum wage causes an increase in unemployment. You're confusing correlation with causation. There's no proof showing a direct link between the increase in minimum wage and rates of unemployment in Hong Kong. What has been proven, however, is that... Great! So now that you know how to critically assess arguments and identify logical fallacies, you'll be able to assert your dominance over inferior life forms. For related videos, you can click here to learn how to use examples to justify a point, or how to structure an argument to make it persuasive. And if you feel you need some more practice speaking, whether for a debate, presentation, or in everyday life, feel free to book a consultation with the speaking studio. Hope to see you soon!